Good evening and welcome to our annual VAPA Gala. My name is Mike Manganon and I'm the Director of Instrumental Music here at Kissimmee Oaks High School. Before I begin with the ensemble awards, starting with concert band, I do want to make note of a couple of caveats. Number one, we all know that this year has been anything but typical. While our typical awards, for example, the Louis Armstrong Award for Jazz and the John Philip Sousa Award for Band, are based predominantly on performance within the ensemble and leadership and character effects on the ensemble in person. Because we are not in person and because this year has not been typical, I believe that our awards at the end of this year should reflect the type of year, the atypical year that we've had. And so you'll see that in the awards that I give. Second, I do want to congratulate all of our band and orchestra students for the admirable job that they have done day in and day out via Zoom and distance learning. This year has not been just taxing on the performing arts. It has been impossible, especially for music. Trying to play together on Zoom is impossible. And yet our students have shown up every day and have engaged and have been responsible and honorable and respectful in all that they do. I wish I could give everybody an award for making it through for perseverance and resilience. You are all amazing and deserve a round of applause. And now for the concert band awards, I do want to make note of two awards for this band. The first award is the 180 degree award. And as the name suggests, this student was able to turn their year around one that was unsuccessful for the most part and did a 180 and made it successful and not just pass, but did very well in the last term of that of the band that they were in. This could also be considered most improved, but I think that that name does not um, do justice to the work that this student has done. The 180 degree award this year goes to Jason Rosario. Congratulations, Jason. The second award aptly named Whatever It Takes Award, describes a student that would stay after school in guided practice, after class in guided practice, and ask a plethora of questions just to make sure that she understood the material or she understood the instructions. Whatever it took, she would do it to make sure she was successful. And I thought that this was not just admirable, but remarkable. The Whatever It Takes Award goes to Aubrey Scholl. Congratulations, Aubrey. Transitioning to orchestra. Similar to concert band, I commend the students for their respect, their responsibility, their honor and engagement throughout the year. I do want to start with a couple of honorable mentions. The first honorable mention goes to a student who has made all state string orchestra for the third year in a row. In her junior year, the honorable mention goes to Sophia Lau on cello. Congratulations, Sophia. Another honorable mention goes out to um, our seniors for persevering through their senior year and what could only be described as an impossible year in orchestra. And thanks for not giving up and staying in our orchestra. The four seniors in our chamber orchestra this year, Ethan Chan, Yesenia Morris, Madeline Steele, and Mavis Sung. Thank you and congratulations, seniors. And there's one unique award that I did want to give our chamber orchestra, and that is this. And I called it the Extra Courage Award. It is sometimes easy to speak truth to our peers to speak truth to maybe our younger siblings and our, in my case, to speak truth to my children. But it takes an extra measure of courage to speak truth to power, people that maybe are in the places of authority to us. Uh, this one young lady spoke truth to me in the class and made me a better band director, orchestra director, and in turn, I think made our program even better. The Extra Courage Award goes to Anne Dialazzo. Thank you, Anne, for the work that you have done, the courage it took for you to speak truth to me. 
I'm a better human being because of you. Thanks. Moving on to jazz band and jazz workshop, our daytime jazz class. Thank you so much, jazzers, for being respectful, responsible, honor, engaged throughout the year. An honorable mention goes out to the foursome, the combo that are coming together to not only rehearse, but to play for students in person one day. That combo is Aaron Ednalau on drums, Joshua Fajardo on bass, Matthew Fajardo on alto saxophone, and Samuel Tong on piano. Thank you, gentlemen. Also an honorable mention goes out to our seniors for persevering this year, not giving up. The seniors in the jazz workshop class are Bryson Clark, Ian Dalrymple, Matthew Fajardo, Jordan Mendoza, Izzy Iwano, and Riley Payne. Thank you, seniors, for staying with us this year, this tough year. I have two awards to give in our jazz workshop class based on the pillars that you've heard me mention from our positive behavior and interventions or PBIS. Those two awards are the Engaged Award and the Responsible Award. The first, the Engaged Award, goes to a student that not only always had her camera on, but always nearly first to answer questions in the warm up, in the chat, and answer questions throughout the lesson. She has been a constant encouragement to me as a teacher. Um, in teaching, I feel like I don't feel as disconnected when she is in class. The Engaged Award goes to Isabel, or I call her Izzy Awano. Congratulations, Izzy. Thank you. And the Responsible Award goes to a student that before I could even finish explaining the parameters of assignment would have the assignment already turned in. A model of efficiency and responsibility he would always be first to make sure that he has his work done and done well. So congratulations, Bryson Clark, for the Responsibility Award in Jazz Band. Thank you so much for all your work this year. And now lastly, on to Wind Ensemble. Again, thank you, Wind Ensemble, for your respect, responsibility, honor, and engagement throughout the year. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. Honorable mentions go to our seniors. Thank you again for persevering and not quitting during the final year of your program. Those seniors are in Wind Ensemble, Wayne Chen, Evan Eisenbeis, Anthony Jossen, Jaira Lopez, Christine Ocolo, Isabel Iwano, Kaylee Pham, Emily Ramirez, and Kushi Srivastava. Thank you so much, seniors, for brightening my day every day and seeing you. Honorable mentions go also out to a select handful of students that helped me with what we call Fun Fridays, times where we would encourage engagement with our students together and they would help lead many groups. And so you made Fridays more fun for our ensemble. Thank you, Kaylee Pham, Isaac Valim, Karen Huang, Ava Loveridge, Riley Payne, and Evan Eisenbeis. An honorable mention goes out to three particular students for making honor bands this year. For the regional band, Cap Section Honor Band, I want to recognize Anthony Jossen on oboe and Megan Nguyen also on oboe. Congratulations. And for making All State Symphonic Band, Wayne Chen. Congratulations. And now I have three awards based on our PBIS pillars. The first award is the Responsible Award. Now, this gentleman did not have to help me with the project um, that we are working on. That project being that we are rewriting or actually writing a new request for an honors wind ensemble. It's already too late to be active and helpful for the student. Besides, I don't think he really needed the help. He ended up being valedictorian this year anyway. But he continues to work with me. In fact, we have a meeting later on this week 
to finish writing the course so that students after him would be able to benefit from extended learning opportunities and a higher GPA boost in an honors situation. So the responsibility award for this year goes to Wayne Chen. Thank you, Wayne, for being amazing. The second of our three awards, honorable, goes to a young man who volunteered copious hours to be able to put together a senior tribute slideshow that we all could honor our seniors before they leave. He didn't have to do this, but he chose to do this to honor his fellow, well, his seniors. He's actually a junior this year. And so thank you in the honoring that I wanted to honor you for being honorable. The honorable award goes to Isaac Valine. Thank you, Isaac. And our last award goes to Engaged. Right about this time, under normal circumstances, seniors would be checked out with a thing they call senioritis. But instead, this senior decided to really bring his best effort and best engagement for the last. In fact, that senior tribute I mentioned, that was his idea. He wanted to make sure that all of our seniors were recognized. He didn't have to do that, but he did it out of the kindness of his heart, out of his willingness and desire to see his seniors be recognized. And just because he really was starting to be engaged, even more so this year than any year before. So the engaged award this year goes to Anthony Jossen. Congratulations, Anthony. And once again, as I close, I want to congratulate all the students. This year was tough and you made it through. Here's to hoping that next year will be in person and much better, whether here at CO or seniors, whether it's college and beyond. Take care, be well, and go Wolfpack.